All people come to him, come to the way of Sultan Rabia, most honored one and most glorified one. Sometimes they feel with people, feel with their followers and murids to help them. And every wali has his way to explain and interpret hadith of Prophet ﷺ, depending on how the behavior of the followers and how much they can carry. Because not everyone can carry it. Everyone cannot carry more than he can on his shoulders. So for that reason, Awliyaullah, according to their level of nearness to Prophet وسلم, and from Prophet to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, near the divine knowledge, Allah inspired them to say things to their followers to make them to attain a high level of ascension. Because our life is in an ascension or a dissension. Correct, dissension. Descent. Either ascent or descent. That's the way that it has to be. Either you are ascending or in descent going lower. So to prevent you going lower, they explain the way they can interpret ayat al-Quran because they are living, these ayat verses are living forever. They will not be, they will not, always they are and illuminated with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's nur because our Quran is not makhluk, it's not created. Our Quran is Allah's holy ancient words. So they learn from that and they give their followers to do some awrad and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will take that murid as as long as he is walking in the way of Sirat al-Mustaqim, doing the best for his religion, at one point Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will reach him, Inayatullah will come, the care of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala comes on that abd and take him to his destiny. We are asking as in Rajab, we will mention the story of that man who was asking Allah forgiveness in Rajab and how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgave him. We are asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the sake of Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa and for the love of awliya Allah to forgive us from our mistakes and sins. And ولا يتجعل الدنيا أكبر همنا. And don't make dunya for us our greatest worry. Make akhirah for us our greatest worry. Dunya is is death. Can can anyone keep? keep his soul in his body? No way. 
means all of you are dead. Good look home. My Yitun. All of you in Nakoma Yut, my Yitun. In Nakoma Yitun. my Yitun. You are, you are going, you are, you are dying, and everyone else is dying. So, Allah is saying in Holy Quran to Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, In Nakamayyitun, wa innahum ayyitun. You are going to die, and they are going to die. So, no one raises his head, and dress the dress of Iblis to whisper in the ear of Adam alayhi salam. Allah said uh, Prophet sallallahu alayhi salam in a hadith sahih when he was being asked Hal al-mu'min yasrik kar rubbama do the mu'min steal he said might be he will steal might be he makes a robbery. It's it can. Then they ask Ya Rasulullah Al Mu'min Yazni is the Mu'min makes adultery. He said Rubbama might be. Look how Prophet wants us to understand how to ask forgiveness. And then they, they, will, they ask, how did Mu'min yakzib? Do the Mu'min lie? Lies? He said, no. Because if you drink, if you drink, if you steal, if you if you do adultery, it's between you and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah might forgive you. But in lying, there will be a third one there, a third person. There will be someone that will be hurt from someone lying and backbiting and giving bad rumors that lies. So Prophet said, no way for that. Mu'min cannot do that. Cannot lie. Cannot backbite. Because if you lie, you backbite. You make fitna, you make confusion. Because of you, are you're lying. But if you steal, if you do adultery, it's between you and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah might forgive you. لا تكنتوا من رحمة الله إن الله يغفر الذنوب جميعا. But when the right of another person interfere, intersect there, and you are lying by spreading wrong rumors, Allah will not give forgive you until that person will forgive you. So Awliya Allah, they know that weakness in us. Because they went through that way also that them, they, how they become awliya, because of their struggle against their ego. Awliya Allah, everyone as in, in life has a father. Huh? No. You have a father? Or no? Yes. You have a father? There is one father in a family, one father, and the rest are children. Call them to their to their parents, to their fathers, Allah said in Holy Quran. So everyone has a father. You cannot have two fathers. Not? No. Cannot have two fathers. You have one father. But you might have many uncles. The father might have brothers. 
you will have many uncles. You love your father? Yes. yes. If you love your father, you love his brothers. You love the uncles. So in tariqa wise, spirituality, in between awliya, there is one father, but there are the uncles. You love your father, but you cannot say the uncles are, throw them out to Jahannam. They are your uncles. Means there are other awliya than you. If you have your father is a wali, your uncles means all awliya are, are wali. So we have to respect, out of respect to our father, we have to respect the other awliya. If we respect our father, we respect his brother. So, in tariqa wise, spirituality wise, all of us we are brothers. And all of us we are under one father. And that father has another brothers and brothers and brothers. That's why it is said that there is 124,000 wali. You have to respect them all because every group of people will be attached to one wali around the world and he guide them toward the way of Sirat al-Mustaqim, inshallah. So, for Rajab, many awliya has put some awrad to be done. And tonight is the first night of Rajab, Shahrullah. The months of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, as Prophet said in the hadith, Rajab on Shahrullah, wa Sha'ban on Shahri, wa Ramadan on Shahri Ummati. Rajab is the month of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah doesn't need a month. But in that month, Allah opened the tajalli if that, the tajalli that prepared Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to reach Kaaba Kawsayni Awadna. That month is the month of Isra and Mi'raj. That month is the month of Kaaba Kawsayni Awadna. That month is the month, that's why Allah, in that month, Abwaab Jahannam is closed, Abwaab Rahma is open. Allah wants us to be saved. And we mentioned the story of that person who was being saved. by his dua that he was reciting. I will not be too long, but that there was in the time of Prophet Wasallam as Grand Sheikh, may Allah bless his soul. It is a different narrations, but in one of them, in the uh, in one of them is that there was a, a person who has a daughter that she served him. Her mother died. The man has a daughter that take care of him. But that person is, uh, is a highway robber robbery. He goes on the in jungles or in deserts, he knows the ways where pilgrimage are going, moving, or caravans are moving. So he attack them, he steal them. He do all kind of wrongdoings. Everyone is annoyed with him. Every every Everyone in the, in the village or in the city or wherever they are, they are, they know him, they know his name, and everyone doesn't like him because he is a big uh, thief. He might kill. That person, one day, he died. What they do, the village, 
they know he is a robber, he is a thief, he did many things wrong. So they took him and they threw him in the well, in, in an empty well, being digged a long time ago, no water in it. So they, they throw him in the well. And Grand Sheikh, may Allah bless his soul, said that after they throw him in the well, Allah was not happy to see his servant thrown in a well, at least to pray for him, Janasaratul Janaza, and to wash him. And Jibreel came to Prophet وسلم, by order of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to say, Ya Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa today one of my awliya died. Allah is asking you to wash him, pray on him, wash him, dress him, pray on him, and bury him by yourself. And Prophet ﷺ was surprised what kind of a wali died today. He is a big thief. And Prophet ﷺ, out of his humbleness, the, the best perfect person that Allah created, went by himself pulled him out from the well, wash him, dress him, pray on him, and carry him with the Sahaba to Jannatul Baqiyah. And as Grand Sheikh, may Allah bless his soul, he said, and I'm quoting him, he said that, Prophet was walking on his toes. And say now Bakr Siddiq said, Ya Rasulullah, I'm seeing that you are walking like that. He said, Ya Bakr, I am amazed also. I am stunned. I am, I am astonished of Allah's mercy, Allah's rahma. When it descend, the Rahmah will finish every Adab, it will, uh, will uh, make a fire extinguish and cool breathe, like happened to Sayyidina Ibrahim alayhi salam. So that Rahmah was covering the whole uh, sins of that person. And he said, Ya Abu Bakr, I cannot put my feet on the ground, on the soil, because of too many angels, I am seeing them going with that funeral. So they bury him and they went back. Prophet was not talking to anyone. Sahaba stunned. They seeing this great rahmah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that that order came to Prophet. They didn't know what to say. That's why Allah said, wa rahmati wasi'at kulla shay. My mercy has encompassed everything. When Hinayatullah comes, Allah's care comes on the, his abd, the rahmah will, will, like ocean, will take him in. So, Sahaba asking Prophet, Ya Rasulullah, what is the, what is the re reality or the wisdom? We know that this person is not a good person. He said, I am amazed like you, I am amazed, like you, amazed. Prophet ordered someone to bring that daughter of that man to his presence. And he asked her, 
Oh, my daughter, your father died. But what, what he used to do in his life, she said, I know he does something that not good. And he's always out in robberies, rob people, attack people, and comes home every day, going out, do something bad, and come back to, to the house. But one, one thing that he used to do every year when the month of Rajab comes, like this month, he close, he locked himself in a room and he say, this is the month of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I heard from Prophet Rajabun Shaharullah is the month of Allah. So I am afraid of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I, I fear him. I don't, I lock myself in and I read that dua that he, and he read, he has a paper and inside the paper there is a dua and he reads that dua all the months. At the end of the month, he opened the door and go back to his work. Same thing. And Prophet said, where is that dua? She said, in a box in the house. So she went, got it, and gave it to Prophet wasallam. And that dua that he used to recite, Allah forgave him for the barakah of that dua. So uh, that dua we will recite it, inshallah, after we finish zikrullah. Inshallah, that dua will, will take us that as if we have read it 45 days, because in the Kharwa you read it every day or every prayer. Inshallah, Allah will make it in, according to intentions. Our intentions, yeah, to do khalwa is the best, but sometimes people cannot for various reasons. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with one hasana make it ten hasana or seven hundred hasana. So one day of khalwa multiply by ten, multiply by seven hundred. So inshallah it will become like as a seclusion. That's why at the beginning, Grand Sheikh, may Allah bless his soul, we are Naqshbandi of Mawlana, Grand Sheikh of the chain that connect to Khalid al-Baghdadi all the way to Prophet He taught us the beginning, or anytime you want to sit for zikrullah or for prayer, or say nawaitul arba'in, nawaitul a'tikaf. Nawaitul arba'in means I make intention to do 40 days. But in the, to, for Allah to stretch our sitting of five minutes to make it 40 days. As if we are doing that zikr for 40 days or that prayer for 40 days when we do it one time. Nawaitul Arba'in, Nawaitul A'tikaf, Nawaitul Khalwa, Nawaitul Uzla, Nawaitul Riyadha, Nawaitul Suruk, Lillahi Ta'ala Al-Azim, all these different uh, entities of worshipness, inshallah we will be dressed with it, with the Barakah of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the Barakah of Grand Sheikh and Barakah of that Dua. And now we begin the zikr and later we come to the dua, inshallah, and then we do ziyara for the holy air of Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Ashhadu an la 